All right, Libra, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology forecast. This is for January 22nd to the 28th of 2018. So I did end up getting sick this weekend, um, but I wanted to get this video out anyways. So I didn't do any video for this. Um, it's just going to be my voice here. But um, yeah, hopefully you do get the information. We're going to look at this as usual. So here we have uh, last weekend, we've had the sun and Venus, your ruler, go into your fourth house of home and of foundations and of your personal life and even your health as well. So you may notice this shift coming into the week involving this area. Um, I think it's a great time to be focused on your past, reflecting a bit, connecting with family, your home, your private life. And you could be enjoying it, in fact, with Venus and maybe strengthening some of those personal relationships as well. So a lot of the aspects we have this week is involving Mercury. Um, Mercury, actually, they're, they're all, yeah, they're all involving Mercury here. So Mercury is going to be going over Pluto here on Wednesday. I think this will likely be the most transformative of the aspects. And this is in your third house of communication and of learning. So I think your whole perspective is changing this week, uh, particularly in terms of the practical side of things in your life. And in the realm of communication, uh, the power of communication when we are non-attached. And I think that's a great way of working with this. Anything you can do to be non-attached to information, communication, anything you're learning or conveying, uh, or to your mind or to your ideas, um, this is going to help free you up. And it's going to happen anyways, the transformation that is. But, you know, practicing non-attachment helps us get on the right side of it, helps the energy flow a bit. Now, Mercury does also rule your ninth and your 12th house. So what it's also, I think, transforming is not only your practical side, but also your belief systems, right? What's possible, manifestation, your inspiration side. So anything, you can also be non-attached with that, right? And let go of maybe some old belief systems, old perspectives, allow them to just sort of die off. So there's this rebirth taking place. And also with yourself spiritually, maybe there's some, some things you can let go that are outside of your control, right? And uh, maybe deep aspects of the self and of the psyche that you can accept uh, or accept about life. And maybe even bring in some peace and tranquility through living presently through acceptance. So those are the areas that are transforming. And I think once we get to about Thursday, we do see the potentials with that. Mercury is going to sextile Jupiter. And this is from your first house. So it's really this reminder that 2018 is a fantastic year for you to expand your horizons in general, right? Um, tap into a bit of that inspiration for life. Tap into some of that independence, um, manifestation, right? You see possibilities, potentials, your adventurous side. And, and you're likely very direct right now too, or can be. Even though you're, you're again, focused more, I think, on the personal stuff, you can be very direct right now with Mars in your, in your sign. You know, and taking action and initiative and stuff. So you have a lot of good support here once you get to, I mean, it's all week, but once you get to about Thursday, maybe some opportunities here um, to expand a bit, see the possibilities, potentials. You're seeing that, I think, with this. And to tap into that independence and maybe pursue some of those goals and some of that drive that you have there with the first house. Then once we get to the uh, weekend, Mercury does square up to Uranus. So this is collectively challenging, but uh, there is a constructive way of working with this. So if you do find that there is this wanting to break free and it may have to do with your work or your routine, um, listen to that. Listen to your higher self. It is conveying something regarding more freedom with your day to day, but implement it in, in the grounded long term way. right? Because with the square to Uranus, we can be impulsive, rash, wanting to jump the gun. And, um, you know, there's some, there's a truth to it. So listen to it, but see how it can be implemented in a grounded way, right? And also, how can you implement perhaps some of that freedom with your day-to-day -day that you want or with your health or your routine or your work and integrate that with what you're learning right now this week? What's, what's transforming with your perspective, with this importance of what's shedding with communication and willing to learn and share with others and give and take, which is all third house or business and trade, some of you writing or reading, you know, whatever this is with this practical communicative stuff, how can you integrate that with your work and routine? And uh, I think you'll find that to be very constructive um, going into next week, especially just seeing how those two areas can be built, can be uh, constructively utilized. All right. So Libra, have a fantastic week. I hope this video was helpful for you. 
and I'll see you very soon for the next forecast.